Hi guys. So I want to pop on here today and have a conversation about our law enforcement here in Canada. Um, instead of everybody posting about the negative, I'm going to post about some of the positive things. Um, and I was looking up a few things from the States and I'm just going to point out probably like three um, certain articles or certain things that I've read about police in the United States where they were helping and um, for example in London uh, in Kentucky a single father was caught shoplifting and he was actually shoplifting baby formula for his six-month-old baby he had apparently fallen on some hard times and couldn't afford to buy the formula police officer came and instead of charging him um, he bought him the baby formula so that he could go home and feed his baby instead of making it worse. Uh, in California, there was a cop who had bought a little boy um, lunch. I'm not sure the particulars on that as to why he bought this little boy lunch, but he bought a little boy lunch and then literally minutes later, um, he was shot down, down in an unprovoked attack and um, he was killed. But before that, he was helping a little boy. Um, there was also um, a, a little girl. Uh, actually, the mother came in to the police station. I'm not sure where this was at. I think these last two were in California. Um, and the mother had reported the bike stolen, and she was in tears. And um, I don't think they had a lot of money, so it was a big deal for them. And that officer went out and bought the little girl a bike and then he stayed around to help her learn how to ride this bike that he had bought her and I can tell you from being a, a, a wife of an officer that and you know being around them for many years that I've known personally of stories like this that have happened. I know of Mounties that have gone out of their way to help people that were having a hard time, that um, that bought, you know, food, coffee, um, a present, whatever it was for somebody that was having a hard time, somebody that they've come into contact with because of their job. And, you know, they, you know, help them out. This is just to show you that there's more good out there than bad. And I also wanted to point out that instead of talking about all these horrible cops that are out there that are killing people for no apparent reason, which isn't even true. Um, I thought that was my husband coming. Uh, sorry. That... Um, yeah, and you know that they're just out there, just bad, and they're drinking and driving and getting caught, and they're whatever it is, okay. But let's talk about. I'm gonna say five names right now, and these are people that have personally affected our lives. My especially my husband. He's worked with these people. He's known these people. Done training, everything. So. Um, we're going to talk about the three Mounties that were killed in Moncton. Uh, I'm going to say their last name wrong, because, and I'm so, so sorry for that. But we have Douglas James Lar Larch, 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 I do believe. Uh, Dave Joseph Ross and Fabrice Georges Javondin. And I'm so sorry. I know I just murdered that last name. I'm so sorry for that. But um, they, there was uh, a few years ago, there was... Um, a shooting in Moncton, there was uh, one guy, they all went out, and these three officers were killed in the line of duty. They went out, and especially, I do believe it was Dave Ross, I'm sorry if I got that wrong, but one of them was a dog man, and he actually wasn't even on, and he got called away from his supper that he was having with his wife, and he dropped everything to go out to help to get this guy and to make the community safe again. And he got killed for doing that. And I can guarantee you that all these men were happy to go out to try to protect their community because that's what they want to do. 
Um, of course, we had Frank Duchenne, who died uh, a few years back again. He was off duty, although he was in a police car. He was coming back from doing something, but he wasn't on duty at the time. He had seen somebody broken down on the side of the road. He had stopped to help and he got hit um, by another car. And I do believe that guy had fallen asleep. It wasn't out of malice, it wasn't on purpose, but still he had stopped to help somebody. He didn't need to stop to help these people, but that's the kind of man he was. And he stopped to help and unfortunately that ended his life. And then, of course, the last one I'm going to mention is Heidi Stevenson, who was just murdered in the mass shooting that we had here in Nova Scotia. She went out that day happy to try to protect her community. These men and women put their lives on the line for us so that we can go to work and feel safe doing that. And unfortunately, she didn't get to go home to her kids and her husband that night but I can tell you that she was more than happy to go out there and try to protect her, her community. These are the people that we need to be putting out in the limelight right now. And man, there's many more, but I can't, I'm not going to make a six hour long video on all the good ones. These are just a few that I know personally that need to be put out there. And all the men and women that are out there every day that go out there, they put that uniform on to, to help the community, to help anybody that they come across. And even, and nobody, by the way, I just like to point out that when all this happened, nobody went out and had any protest or riots for these people that were killed doing their job, protecting their community. Nobody rioted for them. Nobody put up signs or had, you know, protests or anything like that. Do their, their lives not, don't matter? Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's really affecting me. It's, I know it's affecting a lot of police officers lives, how they feel about going to work every day and their spouses, because they're going into an already dangerous job and it's becoming more dangerous because there's more and more cop haters out there thinking that they can do a better job or that they're all bad that you know defund the police doing all this shit it's got to stop and we need to stand up for all the good and brave ones that are out there and broadcast them let's put them on all the social medias and let everybody see that they outnumber by far the bad guys let's let's focus on that please guys 